Today is September 3rd, 2013. Tango's doing real good. Good boy. Today is September 14th, 2013. I'm going for a walk down on one of the conservation areas off of Hunter Road. It's the second one, I can't remember the name of it. But I haven't been back here in a while. It's the first time Tango's been here. Well, we're almost done walking on this trail. There's lots of sassafras, sarsaparilla, Indian cucumbers. Um, there's some spice bush. Let's see what else did I see? Um, hmm, there might be a few more. I just can't think of right now. But Tango ended up getting stung by a couple wasps. We crossed one of the uh, bridges. And he was smelling something on the ground while I was looking at a tree. And then he starts like taking his front leg and trying to brush off something on his face. I thought he got something in his eye. So I went and checked it out and he had a couple bees on his face. They were stinging him. I don't know if he's allergic or not. I don't even know if dogs can be allergic to bees or not. But he got stung a couple times. Well, it's a nice trails over here. It's a little hilly, a little rocky in some places. Seems like the trail's getting a little overgrown. I don't think a lot of people come back here. Go ahead. Don't drink that water. That's not good water to drink. I'll give you some water in the car. Yeah, go ahead, keep going. Nice that they've got these pieces of wood here where it's really muddy. You can continue farther over there. Today is September 21st. Tango's doing really good. He's uh, He really impressed me a few days ago. I was parked on the side of the, um, the road in Vernon. And there were a couple bums that were walking by. And as they were walking by, they were like looking at me and like looking, like scoping me out or something like that. And you could tell they were probably homeless or something like that. They were really like not well kept and stuff like that. But um, they didn't see Tango in the back seat. And they get closer to my car and Tango starts growling. And then they made eye contact with uh, the dog the tango and he starts barking like crazy like he wanted to really get at those people and they jumped back really quick and then just kept on walking going down the road after that so I thought that was pretty funny but he's very smart and obviously he's protective of the people that uh, that he likes so that's good and he likes to follow me around everywhere which I like so he's been really good the only thing is I just gotta be careful when he's around certain other dogs. Some dogs, when they move around fast and stuff, tends to uh, like get a little aggressive. I think it's just because he's thinking that the other dog might be a threat to me and maybe he's being protective or something like that. Because it's not all dogs. If dogs walk slow and stuff like that, he's just fine. It's just some dogs. But. Even with that, he's still a really great dog.
no signs of allergies. I switched his diet like three months ago or something like that to a grain free diet. There's no signs of allergies. The only time he shows a little sign of allergies, I caught him eating some grass in the backyard. And then after that, he was scratching a little bit, but not too much for about a week. But that just shows that it is a grain allergy because even eating grass will cause him to, uh, for that to act up. Take him for walks every day. He likes coming back here and smelling where all the other dogs were. He's got his own specific spot in the beginning of the trail where he likes to go off the side of the trail and poop. Because I feed him at like the same times every day. And for some reason, he's able to coordinate his one of his poop times out here. So that's half the poop I gotta pick up in the yard. Smelling a bunch of other dogs. It's Saturday, so there was probably a lot of dogs back here earlier. Good boy. Oh, my battery's getting low. I'm gonna shut off the video pretty soon. wonder if it's going to be a bad winter. Supposedly the farmer's almanac said it's going to be a bad winter and there's uh, the polar um, ice sheet on the North Pole. You should go drink some water. Polar ice sheet on the North Pole is like 60% larger uh, this time than it was last year at this time. So it's grown a lot. So that's two signs it could be a bad winter. A few days ago we had, like, we were really close to breaking a low temperature in the morning. We are only like one degree off. Why don't you drink some water? There's a few spots I stop here, kind of towards the beginning or the middle of the walk. And another one kind of near the end of the walk where you can get some water. The other spot's deeper. It might be too dark by the time we get over there, so I might not film it, but there's a couple other times that I filmed it. It's a little bit deeper of water. Must have been a lot of dogs he's smelling. Good boy. Yeah. I think it was a good boy. Yeah. You're a good boy. Today is September 25th, 2013. Tango's doing really good. It was a groundhog that was getting into the garden and Tango has been chasing it a couple times when it's out here. He almost got it one time. He was right behind it. And it ran off into the bushes. That's why he's going around the garden smelling everywhere.
grapes are ready. He goes and smells on the corner of the shed over here too because there's like chipmunks or something that goes under there. He just heard something. Good boy. Yeah. Tango's a good boy. Good boy. It's your dinner. Yeah. I feed him three of those cup bowls a day. One cup three times a day. works out to like three and three quarter cups. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Oh, 
Good boy. I've been trying to see which ones of my vests will fit Tango when it starts to get colder. This one seems to be okay, but I wish it would fully zip up. try to find something that's wool too so if it gets wet it'll still keep them warm this looks a little baggy around the waist it's got some draw cords that I can cinch together Good boy. Yeah. Today is September 26th, 2013. Tango's doing really good. All the leaves are going to start changing colors. In a couple weeks, we'll be at peak. Good boy. Yeah. Around those ponds, it looks really nice once in about two weeks from now. Can't believe the summer's already gone. It went by so quick whole year went by quick. It's already been almost a year since I had had Tango. It's gone by really quick. It doesn't seem that long. See all the witch hazels are starting to change already. First to change is the maple and the witch hazel. All the big cinnamon ferns are all turning. They call it senescing. It's going to be a bad winter. Farmer's Almanac says it's going to be in the uh, polar ice cap, the sea ice, 60% larger this time than it was last year at the same time. So it looks like it's going to be a bad winter. Today is September 27th. Tango's doing really good. See how the leaves are starting to change already. The next couple weeks they'll be all coming down.
red maple. And a big wild lettuce. Some grapes. Some wild grapes. Cattails. Good boy. Yeah. Today is September 28th. Tango's doing really good. This was a nice spot here where the sun was shining. So I thought I'd make a quick video. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Today is September 29th, 2013. Tango's doing pretty good. There's a dog that usually walks back here. Its name is Molly. It's a chocolate lab. Tango knocked it over earlier in the walk, like when I first got here. He was being kind of a bully. He was fine at first. I had him on the leash and the muzzle and everything. And then the dog circled around me and um, started to head back towards him and he like lunged towards it, towards the other dog. And the other dog stumbled and like fell over. I felt bad for it. I think it's, I don't think the dog is very old, but I think he's like eight or nine or something like that. And the lady told me that there was a pit bull that just had like bit him around his neck when she was walking back here. So I feel bad for that dog because I kind of got beat up on today. First they had a pit bull grab a hold of its neck and then Tango knocked it over. Just being a bully. I think it was just being protective but still. I scolded him and told him no and told him he needs to be nice and stuff like that. But it's too bad. Hopefully he'll mellow out, be a little more friendly with other dogs. But usually male dogs are a little more um, protective and aggressive and things like that. So and he's already like six years old. So he's probably pretty much set in his ways. But Maybe I'll start doing some training with him so he learns the word no. Like put food in front of him and say no and pull him away. And repeat that eventually he'll learn that no means to not do something. It's getting to the end of the month. Tomorrow's the last day. September so I'll be uploading the September videos in a couple days
when he hopped in the back of my car in the driveway or in the garage I accidentally closed the door a little too quick and I think I caught his tail a little bit or something because he yelped and I uh, told him I was sorry and checked him out to see if he was okay he seemed okay but he definitely yelped I think he got caught or maybe he stepped on something like off of the seat or something I don't know it was right when he was getting in and I closed the door probably his tail you gotta be more careful when I close the door make sure he's in there and sitting down all the way before I close it hey Tango Tango wanna say hi? Yeah, say hi. Can you say hi? Say roof. Arr! Say hi. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah, I told you that. Yeah, the radio towers. Say hi, you're on Canon camera. Eat me. <laughs> I'm free to a good beaver. I'm paper trained and had most of my shots. <laughs> Yeah. Today is October 2nd, 2013. The leaves are starting to change. Colors, it looks really nice over here. My camera doesn't pick it up really that well. It's later on in the afternoon too, so the sun's down below the trees, but still looks very nice though.